The overall goal of this procedure is to generate primary human keratinocytes that can be used as a model to study cutaneous biology in vitro. This method can help answer key questions in the epidermal cell biology field, such as how human keratinocyte differentiation is regulated or as a model for studying inflammatory skin diseases. The main advantages of this technique are that primary human keratinocytes can be conventionally isolated from adult skin of both men and women and can include skin from people of any age older than 18. Demonstrating the procedure will be Annette Black Rasmussen, a technician from my laboratory. To begin, prepare a 50 milliliter solution of 0.25% trypsin and 0.1% glucose in DPBS. Then, mix and filter sterilize the solution. Prepare 10 milliliters of RPMI 1640 plus 2% FBS, 50 milliliters of DPBS, and keratinocyte serum-free medium, or KSFM. Add KSFM supplements and 250 microliters of gentamicin to 500 milliliters of KSFM. Then, pre-warm the solutions to 37 degrees Celsius before use. Collect 10 cm by 15 cm skin samples from healthy adult volunteers undergoing plastic surgery. Keep the skin cool by transporting the skin samples in a styrofoam box containing...